Portland's now official city manager is getting right down to business. Danielle West took the interim title back in November of 2021 and was officially appointed on Monday. Reporter Mal Meyer sat down with West in an interview you'll only see on CBS 13. He is joining us live in studio now with a look at her top priorities, Mal. Well, Greg, the city has about 250 open positions right now. That's about 20% of all city jobs. And those open positions impact how the city is able to handle a wide range of pressing problems. I'm extremely honored. Danielle West now leads Maine's largest city, the first female to do so. I don't take that lightly, um, and I, I don't want to be the last. So I'm going to try to really buckle down and, and look at all the different things that are facing the city right now. Staffing is at the top of her list. For months, the city's dealt with widespread openings, and several offices have interim department heads. In order to be able to deliver the services that we deliver to the residents and, and the businesses and visitors and everyone, we have to have the staff. She says they have tried increasing pay and benefits. The city will be looking to a facilitator, which may include outside resources, to come up with more creative solutions and options they may not have considered. How might the city continue to attract and retain people, especially if there's no affordable places to live? Mm -hmm. I think that that's a very good question and I am encouraged by a lot of the units that I see going up around the city right now. Millions of dollars have been put into the housing trust fund to create more. It now has about $9 million, which West calls the largest amount ever. I'm excited to see that. I'm excited to see what developers can come up with and use in leveraging those funds. Another issue at the top of West's priority list is a homelessness crisis in the city. Hundreds of people experiencing homelessness have nowhere to go. Plus, the city is already housing around 1,200 people right now in hotels, shelters, and the expo. Um, so we're trying to manage all that and really trying to address capacity across the board. She says they don't have the staff or resources to do more. That includes help for a constant flow of new Mainers. So how much longer can the city Put up with this high level of support for asylum seekers? Um, well, as you indicated, we've reached capacity. That's why they're looking to surrounding communities and the state to step up. Without more resources, it means people are left to look for housing on their own. It's not where we want to be, but unfortunately it is where we are. Helping asylum seekers and the homeless is costing the city a lot of money. Why services might have to be cut or taxpayers might be paying more coming up tonight at 6. In the studio, I'm Mel Meyer.